Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, this is the Sec IC 101. So first, what is Sec IC? We are the first chapter of Sec DSM. We are a city Sec definition provided. Um, we are also a 501c3 public charity. Uh, that being said, we have some awesome swag. We've got some patches if anyone wants to buy it, and um, we've also those are five bucks each. And stickers are free, so feel free to come up and grab some stickers. Um, anybody's first time here? A few people. Awesome. Yeah. Grab some stickers. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming. Please stand up and give that. Uh, disclaimer: <laughs> We're an educational entity. We do not condone illegal activity. Um, code of conduct, pretty simple. Don't be an ass. Um, board members have the final say on who's an ass, and if you're an ass, you'll leave. <laughs> so, um, housekeeping things. We've got food out there. We've got pizza. We've got drink ar drinks around the corner. Um, help yourself. Uh, alcohol is only if you're 21 or over. Um, bathrooms are over here, around the corner. And, yeah, this is. So sponsors, our sponsor this month is B-Sides Iowa. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, B-Sides. Uh, location, merch. And um, if you want to sponsor us, go to our website, secic.org, scroll down, or uh, just send us an email at contact at secic.org. April 14th for B-Sides Iowa. Yep. Yeah. Where's that? Yeah, Grand Well, it's, I got a slide for that. Come on. <laughs> All right, tonight's agenda. Um, 13 minutes ago, we were supposed to start Sec IC 101, um, and then we're going to do Sec IC News. Our first talk is W7CAM doing ham radio in the 21st century, and our second talk is Adicom doing intro to lock picking hands on. Next month, um, I know we've had some people pitch some ideas, so uh, I, I don't think I checked yesterday, nobody had officially signed up, but um, yeah, looking for, for content, so. Go ahead. And, I think there's one oh, we got one. Someone signed up. Sign up today. All right, all right. We got one person, so we've got we've got one speaking slot open for next month. So, I'll be doing burp. Burp. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So next month's spoken for. So <laughs> awesome. I love when that happens. So um, yeah, here's where you go on our website. Scroll down to, uh, just below the schedule. Click submit a talk. It'll open this. Um, put in your details, and there'll be check boxes <laughs> and stuff. Uh, asking whether you want us to stream, record, or publish it. So, all right, uh, board members up here, we look great. Uh, website secic.org, <coughs> email contact at secic.org, uh, Twitter handle is at sec underscore ic, and we have a bit.ly for our YouTube, bit.ly secic underscore YouTube. <laughs> bit.ly. Slash secic underscore YouTube. Twitter All right, um, Slack. Uh, best way to get a hold of us. Uh, that's we got a pretty active Slack channel. Um, when I created the slide, we have 58 people signed up, so it's pretty awesome. Um, sign up. Go to our website. Scroll down or pick Slack at the top. Um, sign up, and the sign up process will send you a link, and then you'll join, and it'll be awesome. So here's a screenshot of Slack. Click on the channels. We've got some shared channels with Sec DSM, uh, including jobs and events and cons. Um, otherwise, we've got some. We've got a hobbies channel, random. We've got ride sharing. Um, a, an important one is Sec IC underscore meetings. Go there uh, if you want to talk. If you've got an ideas for a talk, if you want to, you know, run them by people. Um, if you have any feedback, we'd love to hear it. So, upcoming meetings next month. Uh, not a weird month. So, first is Sec Midwest up at True North in Cedar Rapids. They're the second Tuesday of every month. And uh, next month is us here in Merch, third Tuesday. And the uh, third Thursday is Sec DSM in Des Moines. So, go to one, go to all. Go to all. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if we want to arrange uh, rides, do we've got the, the ride sharing. Uh, the uh, Slack channel, so feel free to jump in there if you don't have a ride and you want to go. Upcoming cons, um, as mentioned, B-Sides Iowa is next month in Des Moines. Um, if you don't have a ticket, you should buy a ticket. Uh, they're pretty cheap, what, 20 bucks? 15. 15. 15. I think there's still badges. Uh, the content looks awesome. There's fancy badges. Yep, electronic badges. Um, 
Okay. It's, the other thing is, if you have a .edu email account and you're still a student, you can get in for free. Yep. yep. So if you're a student, you get free admission. Um, that one, it's a great time. Um, they put on a really good con. They just released the talks this year. They yep. look talks are up on the website. They look awesome. Um, then ThoughtCon, um, I know a bunch of us are going to that, a lot of SecDSM guys. We're going to try and arrange a, arrange a van or a bus or something, I don't know, something. depending on how many people are going. Uh, same thing, Circle City Con, uh, a bunch of us tend to go to that. That's got some, they've posted some of the training for that and it looks really good. So, again, events and cons channel and Slack. Uh, CTF team, talk to Zach. Uh, no experience, just... Do you think? Are we going to do one for uh, B sides Iowa? Yeah, we're going to win it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so hopefully other people sign up because we need to win it. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a couple uh, ISU CDC ones. Um, those are those are student uh, groups. The the top one is going to be college students. Uh, that's an internal <laughs> one that they put on, and the bottom one is high schoolers. Uh, that one's always fun. They do that at the what is it? Um, not Carver Hilton Hilton Coliseum. Um, it's pretty cool. They they do like robot battles and video game design. It's it's all it's high schoolers, so some of them are, you know, spot on, and some of them can barely get their services up and running, and you get to just completely destroy their servers. So, good time. <laughs> <coughs> up next, financial transparency report news and jobs. <clears throat> all right, I'm Matt DePape. I'm the treasurer with uh, SecIC. So we'll go through the financial transparency. Um, this is not the right slide. Uh, so previous month we had $665. Uh, we had two sponsors. Um, yeah, those are old. Uh, it depended on. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. So previous month we had $665 uh, with pizza and soda. We spent $160. Uh, B-Sides Iowa is our sponsor again. Uh, everyone should go uh, purchase a ticket and, and go in Des Moines. Uh, but then we also have a sponsor for October as well. Uh, that's Pro Circular. Last month we had $120 in donations and badges, which put us at a total of $620. So last Friday um, we were at $1,221. Uh, we did have some expenses, of course, to keep them hot, but that's occurring. So if uh, we do need a sponsor next month, so if anybody knows anybody or if your company wants a sponsor, please let us know. Uh, just come find one of us. So uh, next we'll go ahead and run through the news. So I'm sure most of you know, uh, last month I believe, uh, there was a, a company called Trustico and um, their certificates, uh, they had a bunch of certificates that were passed from um, Semantic over to Digicer their CEO got into a little bit of a quarrel with DigiCert and said, hey, you guys need to reissue these certificates. They've been compromised. DigiCert came back and said, no, they're not, no, they're not, no, they're not. That CEO ended up sending, I think it was 24,000 private keys for all those certificates. And it just, it, with customer, the customers were, uh, were also on that email and it just blew everything out of proportion. So obviously those certificates have been compromised and those all had to be reissued. Uh, it was it, it was all over Twitter. It blew up. There was just it was a lot of drama. Part two of that, uh, someone went to the Trustico website and saw that um, there was a form where you could put in um, some input and saw that it was actually accepting arbitrary shell commands as root. Um, so they, they you can see here he ran a curl request and he did a get UID and it shows that it is actually root. So people will potentially um, could have ran uh, remote code on the Trustico server. So if you want to learn how to not run a CA, go talk to Trustico. Uh, secondly, this was fairly new, as I'm sure most of you are aware. Um, Cambridge Analytica um, exposed or uh, made yeah exposed um, access to uh, 50 million uh, Facebook users. Uh, how they actually ended up getting that data was that people went through an app and there was only, I think I want to say like 220,000 people that did this app, but what it did is it actually went through all of their friends lists and pulled the different information down. What it pulled was uh, the user's identities, their friends, and things that they liked. And what they did is they built profiles 
and then uh, what they did is they tried to target the different people and, and figure out, okay, how you know how can we you know work with these people and and, and make them do things. Um, a few days ago, uh, there was a uh, a I guess you could say vulnerability within Firefox that um, the map that you can set a master password. So in Firefox, you can have it save all of your passwords. What you can do is set a master password on that. However, um, someone just recently went in and saw that it was only a SHA-1 hash, which is, it isn't enough. But what actually happened is this vulnerability, somebody actually uh, went to their bug tracker nine years ago and submitted it, and now it's still sticking around there and never got fixed, and they're still having to go back and, and take care of that. And then finally, uh, we hit a new record uh, for DDoS attacks, uh, 1.7 terabytes, uh, terabits uh, per second. Um, they didn't name who uh, the actual uh, target was. Uh, previously, it was GitHub with 1.3 terabits uh, per second. But what they were using is uh, exposed Bemcache D servers opened up to the internet. Um, the reason why people really like Bemcache D is because it's UDP based. If it's UDP based, you can basically manipulate that traffic and send it, uh, well, right with this, you can send, send it wherever you, uh, you want it. Uh, one new thing um, that was a part of that is within that, those UDP, um, uh, uh, not frames, but packets, um, they were actually sending where to send the uh, ransom. And it was an actual Monero address, it's a, it's a cryptocurrency. But what a lot of people did is they didn't realize that, okay, um, they didn't change that Monero address. And so even if that target had <clears throat> paid that ransomware, that person wasn't seeing it in their account, and so they weren't stopping that attack. And that ends the news. So finally, uh, all, what we have left is jobs. Does anybody know of uh, anybody hiring? Is uh, anybody looking for a job? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Nobody. No one's looking. No one's happy where they are. Yeah. It's Everybody loves important. their job and <laughs> can't wait to go to work. And <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we'll end there and the talks are up next. All righty. So, do you have a uh, a raffle item or a uh, quiz? Let's go quiz. <laughs> so, whoever answers the quest correct gets a copy of Ready Player One. Coming to big screen uh, next month? I don't know, sometime. It's a good book, you should read it. Um, anyway, so question, your question is, what is considered to be the worst Atari 2600 game of all time? E.T. E.T. Yeah. <laughs> he raised his hand, so he gets it. All righty, uh, talks are up next, so grab some pizza, grab some drinks, and W7CAM with uh, AM.